So the next one I'm going to do is bring our, our, I call this our lead hand, so our front hand onto the ball. Just in terms of what the, the grip should look like, is that we want to have pressure on our thumb, thumb and forefingers on both, on both hands, and then to just make sure that we've got an even spread on the ball. You'll need to experiment because everyone's got different size hands, so um, if you've got a really big hand then you can hold a little bit further along the ball. If you've got smaller hands then you can, you can bring it a little bit further back. So what we're going to do is put our hands on the ball, make sure that we're facing our partner, elbows in, and then adjust a release as we let it go. Yeah, trying to make me jump. <laughs> cool. Good. If you find that the ball isn't quite going as it should, we can just regress back and bring it out and just do another release drill. Instead of having it above your head, you can um, start from the chest. So again, same thing here, elbows in, okay, and then let it go. Cool. So try and get some lots of, lots of rotations on the ball as it comes through, and thumb and four fingers should be creating that spin. Good. Okay, let's all have a go at that one. Yeah, you're using your palm, Thomas, to, to throw, so thumb and forefinger. That's it, beauty. Once it's, once it's coming out of your hand really nicely, then over the top and then let it go. So does anyone's ball travel through the air a bit like that, uh, through rather than point first? Yeah, how do we how do we fix that? What do you think? What do you think we do to fix that? Is it your lead hand going off a bit? A little bit. It's about the position of your hands on the ball. So, if as a reference point and a check for us, all we do is we want the ball to fly um, nose first. So if we hold the ball here, we put in, in vertical. So the uh, the nose and the and the end of the ball are flying straight up and down. Put our hand on the ball here, hand on the ball here, and as we bring it up, that should be our release point, okay, as the ball goes through. So that will give us a, a better um, nose first approach. If we find that we're throwing a bit like that, then um, we need to adjust so that it's going nose first. Does that all make sense?